as a kid, I was always drawing, always interested in uh, anatomy, uh, human form. I think that started with uh, being raised in the country. My mom was a taxidermist. My dad was a blacksmith and a, a farrier as well. And he does some amazing woodwork. Despite that, my, my art when I was a kid wasn't exactly encouraged because because of the dark subject matter, I drew a lot of like corpses and, and whatever. But that kind of made me dig in and, and try to improve. Hopefully they'd, they'd see the, uh, the art and not the subject matter. It, it wasn't until I became a, you know, an adult and started, started being successful that they actually started to be okay with that. I'm, I'm very grateful for that now because if they had if they'd have been the types of parents that were like, oh, that's fantastic, that's great, uh, you know, I probably would have become pretty complacent or, you know, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have given me that, that drive to improve. My daughter's a, a, a budding artist, uh, but I don't really see the same drive in her. Uh, and I don't, maybe that's because I'm, I'm constantly encouraging her and be, you know, that's great, that's fantastic, and that's input that I didn't get. Um, so, but, but what do you do? Do you tell them it's horrible? I think working in a shop uh, with other artists is one of the main inspirations because there's a, a camaraderie that comes with working so closely with other artists and it's nice to be able to say, you know, hey man, check this out and, and have them say, you know, the same. And, you know, there's some, some friendly competition that goes on with each other. And, and it's you're having constant feedback and input with your coworkers, uh, and that definitely helps you grow as an artist. I love the social element of tattooing. I love the the collaborative aspect of it. Um, you know, you get to know your canvas pretty good, and a lot of times you actually get to be pretty good friends with your canvas. So I think tattooing is unique in that way. On several occasions, somebody would offer me their arm or their back and say, you know, do whatever you want. And, you know, I just can't do it because such an important part of the process is, you know, the, the client's vision and what the client's trying to express. And that's just the nature of tattooing, I think. You know, I think a, a lot of people worry about how they're going to feel about their tattoo later on in life. But I think it's a, it is an important part of your story. You know, 30 years down the line, you might look at it and, and yeah, you might regret it and wish you'd never done it. But it's still a, a reminder and like a, a, a signpost of where you were at that point in your life. And, and I think there's real value in that. I'm Joshua Johnson. I draw and I sculpt and I'm a tattoo artist. But my favorite tattoos uh, are the ones I let my kids do. They were probably eight at the time, and there are these horrible little Shel Silverstein drawings on my ankles. <clears throat> They're blown out and they look horrible, but I, they are so meaningful to me and I love them so much.